Unfortunately, most people in the world don't know about what Jesus said is essential for entering into the kingdom of God. Let's read his conversation with the man named Nicodemus. John 3 verses 2 to 6. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. For no man can do these miracles that thou doest, except God be with him. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus saith unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. The chapter later on shows that whosoever believes in the Son of God, the light of the world, who was ascended upon the cross for the sins of the world, who the Father has sent, shall not perish but have everlasting life. Christ also shows that the world does evil because the world loves darkness rather than light. Let's continue this idea in the next passage. John 14 verses 21 to 24. He that hath my commandments, and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me, and he that loveth me shall be loved of my Father, and I will love him, and will manifest myself to him. Judas saith unto him, not Iscariot, Lord, how is it that thou wilt manifest thyself unto us, and not unto the world? Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my Father will love him, and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. He that loveth me not keepeth not my sayings, and the word which ye hear is not mine, but the Father's which sent me. To love Christ is to do his commandments, as by their fruits they are known. Matthew 7 verses 16 to 20. This is not the same as working for salvation, but is rather proof that one has the Spirit of God working in them. When someone accepts Christ in their lives, there is a change because the Spirit of God enters into a person and purifies and sanctifies them. As long as we live in our flesh, we will carry sin within us until the Lord takes us home. But to continue to engage in sin willingly is not a sign of God working in someone. 1 John 1 verses 6 to 7 If we say that we have fellowship with him, and walk in darkness, we lie, and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, his Son, cleanseth us from all sin. How could you delight in your own filth when knowing it is your filth that has made you ugly in the sight of God, and that he had to cleanse you with his own blood so you may not be stained with sin anymore. To repent of your sin is to turn from and be disgusted by your filth and live according to how God wants you to. Let's read one final passage about being born again. 1 Peter 1 verse 23 being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible, by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. We love God by keeping his words, and by not keeping them we cannot love God. We know how we are guilty of sin by the words of God, and yet we can know how to walk with God if we keep his words. You cannot figure out what he commands by not living in his words, and by not turning to the scriptures makes you right only in your own eyes. To be born again is the rejection of yourself, and to no longer focus on my will be done, 
but to turn to God and finally say, Thy will be done.